Hi neighbors, welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. My name is Jerry. Jerry Ellen, Ellen or Jerry. You can call me Jerry, you can call me Ellen, you can call me Jerry Ellen. Just don't call me late for supper. It's getting Christmassy all up in here. And today I'm making some appetizers for my guys here at the house. My husband and my son Casey, they love tater tots. So the first appetizer is tater tot cups, okay? Now, you can use a regular size muffin pan and put more tater tots in it, or you can use, I'm using a mini, mini uh, muffin pan type thing to make mini muffins, but, so I wedge two taters, tater tots in, in there. You, if you're using a regular size muffin pan, of course, you're gonna end up using more. And what I didn't do and I wanna do, is I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil in each one because I don't want these to stick and I'm gonna pop them in just for a couple of minutes maybe like eight or nine minutes I just want to get these thawed a bit so that I can uh, uh, create a cup with them maybe ten maybe ten eight nine ten whatever come set the timer for nine minutes you can use a shot glass for this next part. If you're using a larger muffin cup, use a, the bottom of the small glass. They're soft enough now. And make sure whenever you're using that you uh, butter or oil it so that it doesn't stick. Pull your tater tots. And because I have oil already in the, I drizzled oil over these or olive oil over these, so they're kind of still got some, because I don't want them to be soggy, I want them to be crispy. My guys like this stuff, they like it. They like it a lot. Hey, how are you doing? Okay, so now those are made into little cups. You can use whatever cheese you want. Good price at the store, so I went with it. Gotta just put a little bit in there. So now I filled each cup up with shredded cheese. Shredded cheese of choice. I'm gonna set this in the oven until these crisp up and the uh, cheese is all melted. They're doing their thing. We'll do this. I got uh, some whipped uh, Philadelphia cream cheese with chive and some stalks of celery that have been washed and cut them into like thirds or quarters. Uh, finger size is what I go with. My, my hands are small, I don't know about, about a finger size. And then I'm just gonna fill each one some of this cream cheese. And it's delicious. Growing up, often we would put uh, cream cheese or Swiss. Uh, what do you call that? What do you call that cream? Cream cheese? Cheese whiz. Cheese whiz. You put cheese whiz. How many holidays did we go to when a tray would have uh, celery sticks with cheese whiz? Hey, huh? Memories, I tell ya. Doesn't have to be crazy expensive to be enjoyable. So I'm going to continue with, I didn't make, I'm not making many because there's not many of us here, but you get the idea. I'm going to do up a tray of stuff though, all the same. Okay, so those are done now. Let's do something else here. Let's do something else while we're waiting for our tater tots. Polish sausage that's cooked. I'm cutting the, the odor thing off of it too. Okay, nice thick pieces. Back home. A lot of Polish sausage was on trays, wasn't it, hon? Polish sausage, kielbasa. Kielbasa, yes. You can use this, for this here, you can use Polish sausage or kielbasa. And you cut these thick discs and then you're going to quarter them. 
salami, especially from Horrell's. Your parents, they used to do up a nice spread with the uh, meats from Horrell's. And Graham's family has uh, Scottish, Irish, Polish, Ukraine, you name it. It's in Graham's family. So there was a, a, a variety of things on that tray. Hey, hon. Back home, a lot of uh, people go to Horrell's for stuff. Horrell's meats, it's just around River Ryan in Waterford. So I got that. I want to cube up some cheese of choice, a sharp cheddar maybe, whatever. I have this one already open. So I got a Mexican fiesta, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'll, I'll almost get right in there, baby. You gonna take a piece? Mm. You go right ahead. Right, just like that. It is good, just like that. And we want to make some good chunky cubes here. Nothing difficult with these uh, appetizers, but they're going to be tasty, as I always say. I love food, people. I love food. I love to feed people. I feed people, it makes me happy. And then I got myself some stuffed green, green olives, if I can open it. And some manichino cherries. It's almost like a sweet and saltiness that you're going to build up here. It is really good, okay? And I'm going to put my olives in here. I'm just going to wash my hands right quick again. And then you do that, and then you do a chunk of cheese. I'm going to put them in something there too. And then you do a cherry and a chunk of your Polish sausage or kielbasa. Right? I'm going to put that on my tray. One second. I'll try to make the tray look pretty. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. You can put these in any order that you like. This is just what I like to do, because I like to have the, the meat one on the bottom. But make sure your hands are clean. But you don't want nasty hands in your kitchen. Okay, there's another one. Do you want to have a tasty food with one of these, hon, before you go? There's a little uh, one made there with the kvasa on it. Pick one, whatever one you want. You want a stick? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. That's sweet and salty, yeah? Mm. You like it? I'll wash it. Mm. It is very delicious. I was talking away. So I took out my uh, cups. We always had like skewers of some kind, kibasa, whatever, celery sticks and whatnot. So that's our, our little skewers or celery sticks. And then I've been popping these little babies out of the muffin tins here. And I just put a few in there. And now I'm putting in each of them, I'm putting a dollop of uh, sour cream. because sour cream, cheese, tater tots, oh my golly gee, you know it's gonna be good. Just some, you know what? You put a couple of things on a tray, it's gonna look good, it's gonna look good, believe me. And I'm gonna to top these uh, the, on top of the sour cream, you can cut up. Uh, I think I got uh, some dry chives, but I'm gonna put something else too. So we'll just do the onion there, don't go away. It's gonna be beautiful, I guarantee. I guarantee. You can put some chives. I'm going to put some uh, dried bacon bits on each. And I'm probably going to put some dry chives. And I'm just sprinkling the dry chives over it. Because there's chives in the uh, 
the cream cheese already. So this just to pretty it up a little bit. Make your party for your guest. So there's that. Okay. Okay. Now let's get these deviled eggs done. After I hard boil my eggs and I'm putting them in a cold water bath, I always crack them a little bit while they're in the cold water bath because and then the, it gets underneath the shell, the cold water, and helps you separate like the shell from the egg. See? I just crack them a bit, keep them in the couple minutes in the cold water, and then easy peasy. half these. So when I half them, I'm going to put my yolk in a bowl. Oopsie. And I'm going to put my white part in the little holder thing in here. Okay, now you want to put, oh my goodness, scraping down to the bottom of the barrel. Salad dressing or mayonnaise, okay? I prefer mayonnaise, but to, re to each its own, as they say. You want at least, uh, you want to put three good tablespoons of your mayonnaise. Let's see, that's two. Three tablespoons. I'm going to get a, a squirt of mustard, probably like uh, two teaspoons worth for the six eggs that I made. So it'll be 12 deviled eggs. I'm going to smooth this out before I add a few, some, a few other things. Put some salt and pepper in there. Holy smokes, look at that. I know, you like that? I gotta take a picture of it before you start snacking on it though, yeah. honey. Okay. <laughs> I tell yeah. Sliced uh, black olives in the fridge, hon. Huh? And we'll put one on top of each uh, egg because I got the taco seasoning in there. In the jar. In, in the jar. If not, I know I got some, but I don't know if I want to open up a new one. Some sliced green or black olives on these would be nice. Um, I often put like a little bit of uh, the baby, uh, like the little gherkins in the center and stuff, but not today. I'm going to sprinkle with some paprika. Some of these chives. There we go. That tray. No. Thanks for being here. I appreciate y'all. I'm hoping to get a bit out before uh, Christmas, so subscribe. Come back and see what I got planned, okay? What I'm doing, what I'm, what's going on, okay? So peace, love, God bless. Peace, come back in.